Hello, brothers and sisters Christ. I wanted to do a quick video and just I like to praise the Lord and um, about prayers uh, that that God does answer prayers. All right. So when I get to the to the main subject, He's going there. <laughs> but as you guys well know, it's my gloves. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be wearing gloves when I carry the cage. Um. God has blessed me with chickens, and it keeps me busy, and keeps my eyes focused on Him, and helps keep me away from sin. So, um, I've been working hard on this yard, because I'm still working. Uh, give me a second, we'll turn the camera around. I've been working hard to make this uh, fence. It's not going to be critter-proof, because um, what I just caught, and I'll show you here in a second... Uh, it can climb the fence and still get your chickens. I just wanted to make it where the little, when I do baby chickens, I can let baby chickens out here. But right here, the reason I, it seems so crazy boarded up is I got frustrated and I had all this old wood and pallets that are falling apart. But he would hide back there, and I'll show you what it is in a second. He would hide back there and then tice the chickens up to the fence. You can see some feathers right there. He would pull... He'd grab the chicken by the throat, rip the head off, and yank the chicken right through these little squares here. They're not that big of a square, but they're big enough for him to get... The... Okay! <laughs> big enough to get the chicken through. So I've been going through putting this mesh on here so that the small, tiny, fi uh, tiny chickens, when I bring them out here, they can roam with everybody. And they won't leave the yard, this, this backyard area here. Because this is their main play area until the evenings where they get to go out for two hours two to three hours in the evening to roam around a little bit so i don't know if you can see him you see how the white one's big the other one right right one right above him that's walking in oh he's coming back those are my three little guys i've got seven of them i used to have eight but what we're about to go look at he took one of my big egg laying hens the ones are the ones that were the brown like that i lost one of those and I lost one of these baby ones. And some of the neighbors have lost chickens also to this guy. But the Lord, I've been praying and praying and praying that the Lord helps us get this guy. Because I want to be able to let them back. I haven't been able to let them out here and roam freely for a few days. And then for weeks I've been back here working and monitoring them so they don't get taken again. And I still lost a little baby chick. One of these little guys over there. He's not a baby baby, but they're smaller. They won't lay eggs for another... I'll say two two months maybe till they get big like these guys over here. But all my chickens have been dramatized because this thing we're gonna talk show them here in a second keeps coming up and he keeps getting them. So there's the trap right there. Before I show them, you can see some feathers there on the side. I came over here and interrupted him when he was killing a pigeon. So the pigeon was still alive, so I put the pigeon inside, and he went inside, he went inside after the pigeon. That is called a bobcat. Oh, you can hear him growling. He's upset that he got caught. He's very upset he got caught, but he's killed so many chicks. He's killed two of mine, one of my neighbors, and other people's uh chickens in the neighborhood and stuff and ever since he came around and started hanging out around here we have not seen any cats either <laughs> so there's usually lots of cats wild cats around here so he's been wreaking havoc all over the neighborhood and the lord blessed me all because the lord helped me find that pigeon that was still alive and when i put him in there it it got him so God does answer prayers. I'll be able to let my chickens out here without fear of coming running back here and finding one of them dead. Now, they're going to make a lot of noise lately because when the doves fly over or birds fly over, they get scared because they're dramatized by that bobcat. I forgot. I don't know if I didn't mention earlier. It's a bobcat. So, so I want to just say God answers prayers, okay? So um, I want to thank the brethren that are praying for me. Uh, we had a fox out here earlier at night, but he's nocturnal, so he's at night. So as long as I have him locked up at night, he can't get into this cage setup that I've got. 
but he can dig holes in my garden. So I tried to scare him away because he's beautiful, beautiful tail. It's just as big as the body, the tail is. But he can still do some damage to the garden and he can get one of these chickens if I leave him out at night. So I make sure to round them all up. But there's always going to be somebody coming. But at least for a while now, now that we know that we've got the bobcat, praise the Lord. All glory to the Lord. I'll be able to sit and relax. But God answers prayers, brothers and sisters in Christ. That's why he says, make your requests be known unto God. Okay? He, he's faithful to forgive. You know, you ask him to forgive any sins that you committed as a Christian. He'll forgive them. Help you get back on right track with the Lord. Prayer is very useful. The Bible says we're to pray without ceasing. Prayer life is very important. So, just want to do a short video. <laughs> God answers prayers. So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and my love for you in Christ Jesus. I am praying for all of you, brothers and sisters of Christ, especially in these last days. But even if something as simple as something like this, that God's watching over you and helping you work with your hands and being uh, your walk with the Lord is strong and everything. I'm praying for you, brothers and sisters of Christ. So I'll talk to you later.